Hey, hi all in this video we will discuss about salesforce flow core action so one of the core action is apex action and uh, so what is apex action so apex action is nothing but uh, we can close uh, we can call a particular method in an apex class which is annotated with uh, at the rate invocable method so only at the rate invocable method can we can call uh, or we can use in this particular apex action and uh, there can be only one invocable method in a particular class as per the salesforce thumb rule and uh, we have created a quick action button that is this button uh, the name of the button is check account type so in this uh, we just want to check the account type for this particular account which is re related to this particular contact so for an example when we click on this button check account type so that flow will run in the back end and then the class will be called and uh, all the process will be done at the back end and it will give us the account type related to that particular account so the account type is prospect in this and when we need to use this apex section if your flow uses nested loops or it is iterating over 2000 uh, elements so 2000 is the limit for, for any flow iteration and if you are performing somehow uh, you are like uh, summing up your queries above 100 then it will um, it will exhaust or it will hit the governor limits and uh, the failure will be there for that for the records the recommended solution for performing complex logic is to use apex you can still use flows and offload only the most complex task to apex through apex actions okay we will just click on finish and this window will go off okay uh, <clears throat> so this this functionality how we have implemented so first of all we have created a flow so it's a screen flow as we want to showcase the data like what is the account type for this particular contact so due to some internet connection it's taking time so i will just go to apex oh uh, sorry abc account and just we will check the type of this particular account so it's prospect okay then i will go again to the contact and you you have already seen like it's the prospect and then I will click on finish. It will generally take some time. Then for, for this implementation, uh, we have created a screen flow. And then we have called that apex action. So to call any apex action, you have to first create it and you, you have to first define it. So we have created a class that is get, get account detail and then uh, at the rate invocable method call out is equal to true label is get account type and then it is public static uh, the return type is list of strings and get account is the name of that particular method we are passing list of ids that is ids in this then the list of contact contact equal to select uh, account dot type from contact where id in uh, all the ids which we will get in this particular method and then for contact contact this con to iterate on all the contacts so we will just account this is the list which we have defined of account uh, list of string and the name of that string is acc type so this is the type dot add this contact dot account dot type so the account type of that particular contact will be added in this list and then we will return this list because the uh, return type is list of strings so it will be returned so when we start this flow for an example in this flow action we have ids so in this id the record id is passed and then we have set the output variable as account type why it is essential to give any output type because we want to use that output which we get from that particular class to use uh, further in the flow so that's why it's uh, it's very useful or it's uh, the practice that we should keep 
to store the values of that particular uh, output in any one of the variables so in the future or in the whenever we want to use that particular output value in the flow we can use that and it's the recommended approach like let the flow decide then we have account type the, so this is just a screen to display that thing so account type and then the account type what value what value is stored in this so in this it was prospect and then we have just given this message like why uh, we need to use apex action then there are some of the elements which we have created record id as we all aware like record id is a standard uh, keyword or a reserved keyword to get the record id of that particular uh, record on which the button is there so this record id it will fetch and it will run accordingly <coughs> and then i will just showcase you uh, that particular button which we have created on contact object I will just go to contact object and then we have button quick links and button links and actions so i will just go to this and then check account type is the name of that button and we have used this flow okay so this is the flow which we have used in that particular button and we have just placed that button in the page layout that's why we are able to see this button and uh, how we can add this so we have actions just go to actions just type the name get account types this there are two things as you can see get account type so this is the label of that particular method which we have in that particular class then from which class it is getting that particular method is apex hyphen get account detail so the class name is there okay so that's why if you label it uh, means like just label it in in a manner so you can easily search that in that particular apex action and then you can use that thing okay so that's all for this video uh, thank you have a nice day